What's going on guys? Welcome to the Fantasy Addiction Network. Today I wanted to give you a quick tutorial and a demonstration of one of the cool tools that we have for you over at FantasyAddictionNetwork.com and that is our trade calculator. This is a tremendous tool that's going to help you guys be able to analyze not just whether a trade is good in terms of value between both players or all players involved, but does it actually help your team? But anyway, if you guys are looking for content for the XFL, hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be posting stuff daily. Not gonna waste any more time though. Let's get right into looking at this trade calculator. All right, guys, so if you uh, click that link in the description box, it'll take you here to our season companion for the XFL. Uh, if you haven't created an account already, we are making those absolutely free for you guys this year. Just want to be able to put some good content out there for the XFL, make sure that everyone that's in fantasy leagues is able to enjoy it uh, to their uh, you know fullest potential and you know really just enjoy the season as it goes along. But I wanted to show you guys something really awesome that we've been working on developing and it is our trade calculator. So from the website, if you go down here to trade tools and you go over to the trade calculator, it's actually a downloadable link and uh, just wanna show you guys real quick how this works. So when you open this up, you'll get a view only version of this file. So what you'll wanna do is just go ahead and you can make a copy. Now this is a Google Sheet. So if you guys have ever used Google Sheets before, um, you should be familiar, you know, it saves it to your Google Drive or you can save it pretty much, um, you know, anywhere that you want and you can keep accessing this over and over. It's still linked to my rankings, so this will actually update for you guys as we go along into the season. So if you download a copy, you can continue using that, which is really nice because then you only have to enter your roster once. But basically the way this works is you'll do multiple steps uh, and really the reason why we're doing it this way is, you know, your traditional way of looking at trades is you have like a trade chart, have some values assigned to different players. And typically if you, you know, plug two guys into a trade calculator, it'll say player A is worth more or less than player B. Now that's a good question to know the answer to, but it doesn't actually help you because if your question is, you know, is this player better than this player? Well, that will answer that. But the question isn't, is this player better than this player? It's, does this trade make my team better? And that's what this calculator will do because it's not just looking at the guys in the trade, but it's also looking at what does your roster look like before the trade? And then what does it look like after the trade? And does it make my starters better? Does it make my bench better? And does it make my team better? So I just wanna show you guys, it, incredibly simple to use everything is in a list again i'm updating this it's linking back and you know getting updated as the season goes on but let's say we have cardale jones and we'll say we have aaron murray then we also have uh let's do kenneth farrow and we will do andre williams and Hen d'angelo henderson actually we'll do let's do darius victor just get a couple of names out there. We'll do McKay, we'll do Spruce, and we'll do Washington, and let's say Demir Bird, or Dante's Bird. Sorry, getting him confused with an NFL player. And then for tight end, let's say we have Brandon Barnes. All right, so that's a pretty normal team structure in the XFL if you're playing with uh, 10 or 11 roster spots. So then once you have your team entered, like I said, again, you can keep this saved. You can go up here and like if you accidentally put someone in, you can delete it. Um, if you prefer to scroll down, you can just scroll down and select somebody, um, you know, pretty easy. But overall, uh, the nice thing about this is, like I said, you can keep it saved and the rankings will update in the background for you. So. Uh, you know, download this, save it somewhere you'll remember, and then you'll have to enter your roster in your roster settings every time. You can download multiple copies if you want to do it for multiple leagues, that's also fine. Then the next thing you want to do is input your league roster settings. So this is your starters and your bench slot. So if you're playing in one of my leagues, you're going to be going one quarterback, one running back, two wide receivers, one tight end, and then we'll have a running back, wide receiver, tight end flex, no super flex, and then we would do four bench spots. All right, 
So basically all this is doing is giving you the ability to, or giving the calculator the ability to know based on the team that you entered above, what is the potential outcome of another trade that you're gonna make. So let's come down here and say, all right, someone is wanting to trade Mikael McKay and they want Kenneth Farrow. So those are two good guys, but let's say we're gonna get Sammy Coates and let's make this easy for the calculator, Christian Michael. So two of the better players at the position. So it's not affecting the bench at all because we're not dipping into players that are on our bench. So it doesn't do any change to our bench, but this is gonna improve our starters by 7.69% and give us a weighted improvement because again, it's not affecting the bench. So it doesn't wholly impact our team, but it impacts the starters. So this is a trade you'd wanna make. But let's say instead of Stanley Coates, let's say this is Jazz Ferguson. Now it's actually hurting your starter. So even though you're increasing your running back, <clears throat> it's decreasing your wide receiver strength by more than it's helping your running back strength. And then let's say we throw in one, oh, what if we did Tim Cook? So now, like this is a trade that I would see offered a lot. It's like, oh, well, uh, I'm giving you some more depth to your team. So it's gonna help your bench score, but it's not helping your starters and the calculation that I have is it's going to benefit you more if your starters are going up because having a good bench is great, but at the end of the day, your starters are what are your bread and butter. If your starters aren't doing well, you're not winning fantasy games. So the starters uh, decrease heavily outweighs the increase to your bench. So even though this is improving your bench, it's decreasing your overall value of your team. So. Anyway, uh, just wanted to go through that quick calculation for you guys. Like I said, it's pretty easy and straightforward to use. Save as many copies as you want. Name it after the league that you're in if you're in multiple leagues. So that way when you make roster transactions, all you got to do is come in here real quick, update your team, and plug in your potential trade. This will help keep you guys from getting hosed in the first year. I'll continue to update those trade value charts as we go along. And I'm not sure in the XFL if anyone else is going to be releasing any trade value charts. If they do, I could even post uh, some calculators with those other uh, websites trade values. That way you guys can still use this calculator even if you don't use my rankings. Like this is really just a tool that I'm trying to perfect for you guys for the NFL. So use it, abuse it, let me know if there's anything wrong with it and we'll continue to make tweaks from there. But I really think, I mean, this is something that I've always really wanted to have handy because most of the time when you look at those trade value calculators, it's like, well, okay, I can see that these three players are ranked higher value than these three players. But again, it only matters if it's helping your starters more so than your bench. Because if you're trading three guys, but only one of them is actually uh, going to start, but the three guys that you're trading, two of them are starting, well, then you're not really improving your starters as much as you're improving your bench. And improving your starters is a lot more important. So anyway, like I said, if you guys are interested in giving this a try, click that link in the description or go to fantasyaddictionnetwork.com, sign up for a free account, and download the trade calculator give it a try and if you're looking for daily xfl content click that like and subscribe button we'll be posting stuff all season long keeping you up to date on everything that's happening thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video